In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I am in dearly beloved in Christ, I am Father Emmanuel Awiya, and I like to share with you a touch of God's love. That's a short reflection and prayer on the Holy Mass readings of Thursday, 27th July 2023. The readings are taken from Exodus 19, 1-2, 9 11, 16 to 20, Daniel 3, 52 to 56, and Matthew 13, 10 to 17. The theme of the reflection is how to grow in trust. How to grow in trust. The first reading says that three months after the Israelites left Egypt, they arrived at the desert of Sinai and pitched their camp facing Mount Sinai. Then the Lord decided to do something that would let the Israelites grow in trust, in the trust they had for him and for Moses. He decided to descend on Mount Sinai in the form of a dense cloud so that when he spoke, the people would hear his voice. So he asked Moses to tell the people to prepare themselves for two days by washing their clothes and getting themselves ready to meet him on the third day. On that day, there were pearls of thunder on the mount thunder, pearls of thunder on the mountain, and lightning and flashes and a dense cloud and a loud trumpet blast that made all the people in the camp to tremble. Then Moses led the people out of the camp to go and meet God. They stood at the bottom of Mount Sinai. The mountain was entirely wrapped in smoke because the Lord had descended on it in the form of fire. Like smoke from a furnace, the smoke went up and the whole mountain shook violently. Louder and louder grew the sound of the trumpet. Moses spoke, and God answered him with peals of thunder and called Moses to climb to the top of the mountain. The Lord showed his majesty, power, and glory to help the people trust that with him nothing is impossible. And he called Moses to the top of the mountain so that when he, he returns, the people will trust he is very close to God. All this implies that to grow in trust, one, we must wash our clothes. That is, we must frequently repent of our sins so as to live in the state of grace. Two, we must frequent Mount Sinai, that is, try to be in the presence of God through prayer. If we come, if we come to Mount Sinai and God wants us to carry out a special mission, He will call us to the top of the mountain. That is, we will grow in our relationship with Him to the highest degree, the highest degree. With our frequent repentance and prayer, our trust in God will remain weak. That is why in the Gospel, Jesus speaks to his disciples in plain language, but speaks to the general public in parables. He says, The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven are revealed to his disciples, but they are not, but they are not revealed to the unbelievers. For anyone who has will be given more and he will have more than enough. But from anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. He talks to the unbelievers in parables because they listen without hearing and look without seeing, because their hearts are hard, their ears dull, and their eyes closed, because they are not interested in being converted, and so they cannot be healed. But the believers are blessed because they look and see, listen and hear what prophets and holy people wanted to see and hear but could not. In other words, the prophets and holy people wanted the Messiah in their days but could not get that. In short, to grow in trust, we need to have a burning interest in repentance and prayer. If we lack these, we will become spiritually poorer and poorer until we expire. If we have these, if we have repentance and prayer, we will go higher and higher until we reach the top. Dearly beloved, 
in the name of Jesus, be rich and richer in trust and in the blessings of God, in the name of Jesus, have an unshakable trust in God. Amen. Kindly share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing and or discussing this message with others. The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. May Almighty God bless and protect you as the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.